Now, please welcome founder and creative director of the Bizark Company, Adam Bizark, and Buzz Price, the a Lifetime Achievement Award recipient and Disneyland art director at Walt Disney Imagineering, Kim Irvine. Sorry. You guys are doing great. Uh, only 11 to go. You're doing great. Uh, few theme park destinations around the world can boast of ongoing success that's achieved entirely without thrilling ride systems or the use of characters from blockbuster films. Know who you are. Uh, but Puy de Fou in Les, Espe in Les Espèces France has done it exactly that, producing spectacle after spectacle, year after year, reflecting their own history and legends in striking theatrical productions that outshine other attractions all over the world. Les Derniers Panache, the park's newest show, is a technological and artistic tour de force, encompassing exceptional design and production values on a scale rarely seen anywhere. An 80,000 square foot theater seats 2,500 guests on board a gigantic 360 degree rotating turntable, housing seven stages and brilliant scenography. A cast of 40 actors playing multiple roles brings 22 unique scenes to life within this 34-minute spectacle. It's chronicling the, the career of a, a young French naval officer. The show features a bevy of seamlessly integrated special scenographic effects that allows each scene to appear to emerge fully formed from a large scenic tapestry. Add to this an original musical score, amazing dynamic sets, ornate costumes, exhilarating stunts, live animals, and a massive 200-foot indoor lagoon. And Le Dernier Panache is among the most ambitious shows staged ever in a theme park, inside or out. Le Dernier Panache est né de notre souhait d'inscrire dans le Grand Parc, la formidable aventure de Charette en 34 minutes. Effectivement, à partir du moment où Philippe a écrit le scénario, euh, avec Laurent, nous nous réunissons tous les trois euh, pour euh, eh bien, commencer à, à voir sous quelle forme, finalement, on peut raconter cette histoire-là. Donc, on a ressorti une, une vieille idée qu'on avait, en fait, euh, de tribune tournante. Voilà, et c'est cette tribune tournante qui nous a permis ensuite d'enchaîner de, des scènes. Danger et la tribune tourne, le spectateur il va regarder au plafond et va dire « Ah, la tribune tourne !» On a travaillé avec le plus grand soin pour qu'il y ait simplement une légère sensation qui ne vienne jamais troubler ce qui se passe entre le cœur et l'âme, comme sur la mer. C'est un spectacle qui n'est qu'au début de son histoire, parce que c'est un spectacle vivant et qu'au Puy du Fou, comme tout spectacle vivant, il va évoluer beaucoup. On dit toujours au Puy du Fou, il euh, y a du potentiel. Chaque trouvaille artistique et technique va être poussée plus loin. La grande question de ce spectacle, c'est est-ce euh, que le spectaculaire ne fait pas perdre le fil Je pense que la réponse est non, parce que tout passe par l'émotion. As with all of Poudafou's efforts, Le Dernier Panache brings history to life and is a reminder of the power of thoughtful storytelling and enhanced with dramatic theatrical splendor. 
Accepting the award for Le Denier Panache is the creator of Oui de Fou, Philippe Duvillier, and general director, Laurent Albert. Well, <clears throat> thank you to the Tea Association. We are very happy to be here, and I'm very happy to introduce to you the Pidufus team. But, ladies and gentlemen, I beg your pardon, but my French is so bad <laughs> that I prefer to give my speech to my son, Nicolas, who is the chairman of Puy du Fou. So you just heard the only words you know in English. <laughs> Believe me, it's incredible for me, as it is for you. Uh, <laughs> so. Actually, we, we didn't want to make uh, this show to entertain people or to explore new ways, new, wa new ways to uh, stage a show. Uh, we just wanted to make this show because a man named Charette um, let us an heritage, and uh, we had to pay him a moral debt. It's a great honor for us to be here tonight with you uh, because uh, this award is uh, got by Puy du Fou on the American soil and this show deals with a marine officer, a naval officer, who fought in the American Independence War uh, for the freedom of the American people. So today, thanks to you uh, all, uh, I could say that uh, uh, the United States of America award a hero who uh, helped the American people to get his freedom against the English kingdom. Um, today, Charette, also who died for a beautiful cause, as you understood, um, got his revenge, a peaceful revenge, a shining revenge. Just before dying, Charette said, Nothing gets lost ever. He was right. This show today is very successful. Um, already 2.4 million people have seen it. And uh, we, we may say that um, this show, The Dernier Panache, has got a soul. And that's probably the reason for the people are deeply touched and moved by this show. But most of all, thanks to this show, um, we, we got the opportunity to create a school, because in the show we have some little kids playing as performers in the show. And thanks to this school, Charette's message um, will uh, never be lost in the future. So on the behalf uh, on Charette, of Charette and of all the Puy du Fou team and of all the Puy Follets, Puy du Fou members in France, who are waiting for us tomorrow to bring back this award, I would like to thank you, all of you, very much for this award. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 of course, of course. Uh, there is uh, one word again. Uh, in English. Oh. You are invited for the 40th birthday. Count. Birthday. Birthday of the Puy du Fou this year. S send me a mail. S send me a mail. I will arrange your uh, journey at Puy du Fou. Thank you. Now, please welcome.